This is rural Utah, a place of vast landscapes and spacious skies. It's a beautiful place to live. It's a tough place in which to get sick. Scott Timothy and his wife love their vernal Utah home. But Scott now needs frequent medical attention, the kind usually provided in a hospital. The nearest local hospital is 15 miles away. The nearest major hospital, where Scott's cardiologist is based, is in Salt Lake City, 170 miles away. When I had to call 911 for my heart attack, they were not happy with me because I had my wife drive me to the hospital. But it took us 15 to 20 minutes to get to the hospital, where if the paramedics say I had to take 15 minutes to get out here, 20, and then 15 or 20 minutes to get back, so I was looking at 40 minutes compared to 20 minutes, and that's a lot of time when you're having a heart attack. Scott's situation is not unusual. 81% of rural America is considered medically underserved. Rural hospitals are closing and consolidating. People must drive farther for needed services. With an aging population and higher rates of chronic disease, the situation is only going to get worse. I'm a clinician investigator at Brigham Women's Hospital and an associate faculty at Ariadne Labs. We are undergoing a pilot program with the University of Utah Health where we are providing acute care for patients in their home. Our home hospital work started in urban Boston where we were caring for acutely ill adults as a substitute for traditional hospitalization. And we realized that this care model can be very impactful in rural settings as well. Using telemedicine and mobile point of care technologies, a team is conducting mock admissions in rural Utah. They are working with Steve Hawley, a specially trained paramedic. As part of the team's testing, patients with chronic disease have been asked to pretend they have an acute illness. Scott Timothy is acting out a flare-up of his heart disease. When Holly arrives at Scott's house, he sets up a communication system. For the admission to work, there needs to be a reliable video link and continuous flow of data with a Utah health physician based in Salt Lake City. Then Steve can give Scott his undivided attention. Holly takes Scott's vital signs using an electronic stethoscope. Images of his heart are transmitted with a portable ultrasound. All data are sent in real time to Dr. Natalie Como in Salt Lake City. She joins via video. Holly reports on Scott's status as Dr. Como guides a full medical exam. Holly spends more than an hour with Scott. When he leaves, he is certain that he was able to provide quality care. So is Scott. I think today I had good care. I really do. I was really comfortable. Got to sit in my recliner and so I think this is the way it ought to be. Holly saw benefits in delivering acute care in the home. When you can get the patient in their environment and can see how they live, and I just think this is better. The environment tells me a lot about the patient. The mock admissions in Utah demonstrated how the right technologies, personnel, and protocols can bring new acute care options to rural communities in need. We're actually seeing a really amazing opportunity with the ability to completely change the way we deliver health care to acutely ill adults in a way that we haven't seen in the past. And in doing so, we actually have an opportunity to make a very outsized impact on how we deliver that care. We aim to get the right care to the right patient at the right time in the right place, such that we can essentially start to solve what is a crisis in rural health care in this country.